Hello all. Welcome to Mobile Apps Academy. In this tutorial series, we will be exploring how to develop a to-do app using clean architecture and a VVM design pattern in SwiftUI. If you'd like to access the source code for this project, be sure to subscribe to the channel, take a screenshot and send it to the email provided in the description. We will send you the source code. This is the fourth part of the series. The first three parts are available on the channel. Make sure to check them out. Link is in the description. Let's get started. Open up the date view that we created in the last video. Let's add the required variables. We need one for date manager and another for the week model. Don't worry about the error. Let's set the values in the preview. Perfect. The error is gone. We will be aligning the elements horizontally. To do this, I'm using a head stack. Since the week contains 7 days, I'm adding a for loop of 7 elements. Let's analyze the date slider elements. 2. Text views are aligned vertically with a spacer in between. Also, we are making this text bold or light based on the selection. When selected, we set the background to black. Let's see this in the Xcode. As explained, we have a VStack whose width is set to infinity and padding is set to 5. Based on the selection, I'm setting the background color to black or clear. Finally, I'm setting the clip shape to a rectangle with a corner radius of 10. On tap, we change the selected date with animation. Perfect. Let's add the two texts with a space in between. Awesome. We can see the text now. Let's head back to the date slider view. Look, we can select the date now. Perfect. We need a slider direction enum, which we already prepared. Uncomment the variable we added in the last video. Head back to the date manager. We left the update function empty. Let's add the functionality to this function. Based on the direction, I'll update the date for the past, present and future values. Let's use this update method in the slider. On the disappearance of the current tab, we will update the data. On change of the tab view, we will change the direction value. Awesome. We are almost done now. Set the tab view style to dot never. Perfect. We can slide the date now. Now, go back to the date header view and create this slide view. Perfect. And we are done with the slider. I want to show a simple text view with the selected date at the bottom right. And here is how we can do that. Perfect. It's pretty easy. That's it for this video. We will be working on the task list manager next. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Until then, happy coding.